Welcome back, everybody. This is episode number 64 of our future tech playthrough here at RimWorld, and we're off. Full speed ahead. Let's go. All right, let's see what's happening around the colony. we got thrumbos everywhere, of course. Uh, last time, I think it was last episode, we did implant a couple growth cells. So we do have two uh, thrumbo paragons on the way. And in case you're unfamiliar with those, what those look like, this bad boy right here is a thrumbo paragon. He's a male, and we're hoping to get two females, because I'm going to start breeding these suckers. Now, let me look at their uh, training here. <clears throat> yeah, he's still not fully trained, so we're going to keep him in the barn. That one can come out, though. So can that one. Yep. I'm only keeping them in the barn if uh, they're not fully trained, so... For now, for now. Of course, we can order them there in case uh, we get attacked at any point. Ah, so... Who's this guy? Is that your guest? Yeah. Um, we got a little bit of steel coming up. Oh, our I bionic ear is done. I believe we have another one to make after that. I don't like how I've got multiple things here opened up. But... I have faith in my crafting team. They'll get it all taken care of. <clears throat> anyway, one of our pawns needs a brand new ear, so we're waiting on that advanced ear. <clears throat> Forgotten who it is, but we'll be able to find it. All right, so we've got two flashlights, a bunch of spines, laser detection. Very cool. <clears throat> We haven't had any prisoners in quite a while, which is a shame, because I like I like what we've got going on here. Oh, got a fire out here, guys. <laughs> Take care of it. Our genetics, I think we're holding off on this right now. I really want to get some human, um, <clears throat> human genomes, so that's what I'm hoping for. All right, we got some more helmets done. I'm going to hold off because our plasteel is kind of low, so I might just have, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, let's have uh, Gizmo make a whole bunch of hats. Do a little trading trading venture here coming up. We'll do a trade caravan once some of these guys can return. <clears throat> oh, what's going on? Fire. So, okay, these guys are going to that Plasteel Nugget. And this group is coming home. Okay, the ear's done. Map encounter coming up. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me... Okay, get rid of that stuff. Let's go check out this plastic. How long is this going to take? Oh, that's tiny. Yeah, that's nothing. It's almost not even worth it. All right, here's what we're going to do. Might not be worth it, but we're going to take it seriously. I'll go with the animals over here. Area one. And we'll bring everybody up. I believe everybody we brought with us is able to is able to mine, so. We're just going to force it. I think I'm not even going to set anything up. I'm not going to establish any kind of, like, outpost or recreation or anything. We're just going to mine the heck out of this thing. Because <clears throat> our people are experts. They're all pretty good, I think. Let's look. Let's just take a survey of our people. Because I forgot. 19 mining. Hummingbird, what are you doing? <coughs> oh, because she's mining. 12 mining. 19 mining. And a 24. In fact, I think some of them actually have, yeah, like drill arms and stuff. Drill arm. She's just bi advanced bionics. Advanced bionic legs. Kirkland could use a bit of an upgrade, but he's not bad. He's not bad. Oh, all right. That's all done. Let me look for a new place here. Yeah, we'll come over here and get this. Why not? It's not too far. <clears throat> there we go. Where's our other four? I don't remember. Oh, they're out here. Yep. Still going strong. <clears throat> I'm going to move this one over here. It's a bit better spot. So, yeah. Oh, wrong group. <clears throat> what are you doing? Okay, she's digging. She doesn't look like she's digging to me. She just looks like she's standing, but 
I guess there's no difference there. <laughs> Sorry, Hummingbird. I don't mean to be so critical of you. Well, we know these Thrumbos are just, like, completely bored, wandering here aimlessly. <clears throat> wonder how much plastic we'll get out of this. I'm going to estimate and say under 500. Just under 500. <clears throat> Maybe I'll be totally wrong. I could add it up, because I believe each one of these is, like, what, 40, 36? There's a little difference, I guess, depending on how good their skill is. But, um, we'll see. We'll see. I, I think it is possible, too, for them to, like, mine a square and get nothing out of it. Like, I think I've seen that. They're really bad. <clears throat> they just get unlucky. Or maybe, maybe a little bit more than 500. Under 600, though, for sure. <laughs> oh, let's make sure everything's going good. I don't want to speed time up. There's no reason not to. It's just that. Uh, all right. Don't worry about the fire. The fire is taking over the jungle right now for some reason. Oh, where are these guys going? Oh, there's wood out here. They're going to meet up with this cassowary. <gasps> oh, no! <clears throat> oh, are these guys bold? Oh, my God. Thank you. <clears throat> Set that guy to hunt so somebody comes out here and gets it. Hey, look at this. They're almost done. Good job, gentlemen. Dig, you working? No, he's just watching for targets. Wander around, Dig. We're almost done. Same with you, uh, Sparky. Go ahead and eat, do whatever. We're almost done. Look at that. I called it, didn't I? It's going to be under 500. I betcha. I betcha. Whoa. Please hurry up. Seems like you're going slower now that I'm looking at you. Whoa, who needs what? Oh, it's Manu. <clears throat> Drug overdose. Silly, silly girl. Um, Lotto, just come rescue her. Manu. I am so scared she's going to die at some point. Actually, it probably might be a better thing because then I could just reinstall her in a brand new sleeve. Because she does have a portable stack. And... Uh, I mean, I'm sure she'll get addicted to Gojis again, but she'll just extend her life, basically. So that'll be nice. Hurry up, hummingbird, you slow hug. I'm going to have you stop, actually. Um, yeah, Kirkland. No, um, Sparky. Come get that, Sparky. You're a lot quicker. <clears throat> Beautiful. 479. Not bad. Oh, what did they do that for? Not bad. I don't know. If we get one that's real close again, I'll probably go, but honestly, it kind of sucks. Why can't I go into the thing? <clears throat> Alright, and yeah, we got plenty of room. We brought plenty of Thrumbo carrying space, but that's it. Okay, 400, roughly 500 Plasteel. Not bad. I'm going to be very happy when they get back with that, so I should knock it. And lo let me look at the world map again here, because <clears throat> there are quite a few of them. We've been, we, we continue to investigate these as well, so. What does that say? Hostile activity nearby? Oh, my God. Caravan, I ride a murder hole. Yay. So they're back. I don't even remember. Oh, we sent these guys to that, uh, to the uh, ancient complex. And then after that, we sent them to the Ambrosia Addicted Animals. So their haul is, <laughs> I think they have like 900 Ambrosia on them. Literally, no exaggeration. They have about 900 or so Ambrosia on them. <clears throat> Which is cool. We'll use that eventually. We do have our drug schedule set. So our people can freely use Ambrosia whenever they want. There's what we have, because we're growing it. Uh, I believe it's a an ingredient that we use for making, uh, where is it, Glitter World Medicine? Is that it? Yeah, 4 Ambrosia, 8 Medicine, 12 Neutronamine. So, it's kind of a weird ingredient, but hey, I'm happy. So we got a little bit of a, a setup back here in our butcher station to get that. What's this? No, thank you. 
They'll be back. Ooh, we should take out that Thrombo herd, shouldn't we? It's pretty close. Like, even with... If we pack, like, four or five Thrombos, we could probably carry it back. We'll wait till this group returns. I don't know how long this is in the area. Ah, uh, it might leave. Might leave. Oh, well. No big deal. <clears throat> Attacking a Thrombo herd is probably also a good way to get yourself killed, so... Maybe we're dodging a bullet. I don't know. I just want to try and experience as much cool stuff as possible for you guys here. Pilgrims arrive. What is this? Oh, they might offer as a reward. Oh, well. I'm sure they're just the best of pawns, too. Pilgrims arrive. I've never had this event. I mean, you guys come on in. Let me look at you. Oh, I actually like this person a lot. Well, they're not terrible. <coughs> not a good miner. You could send them out to get plasteel nuggets. <laughs> Falcon? Yeah, you'd be a sacrifice. <coughs> Slothful, you're another sacrifice. Okay, I'll take you. So two out of four. Not bad. And they're both 49 years old. 49 year old females. Okay. <coughs> I like that animal skill. That's pretty solid. Can't do dumb labor, but <clears throat> we could stick her on a, an art bench. And her artisan skill, artistic, smoothing speed. She should really help with construction then, shouldn't she? Yeah. She's not terrible at it. No passion, but hey, I'll take it. Of course, this is all assuming that they uh, decide to join us, and I don't know. We'll do our best, but uh, sometimes accidents happen. <laughs> and I don't mean to be, uh, you know, scary sounding there. It's just, it's the truth. Well, random things happen to our people when they're in our colonies. We can't control it. Oh, this is the fire that's c constantly alerting us right here. I bet you this is going to spread to one of our little traps here. What are you doing, Al? Isn't there rock anywhere closer to you? By golly. Alright, let's mine some stuff, because these people are traveling halfway across the world for stone. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to turn the stone off. I think we're at a point now where stone's probably pretty good. I don't want them getting killed. <coughs> does mean we're probably going to have a few people with idle hands now. <coughs> but honestly, it's just like, Jesus. We've got a little bit of corner of this here. Hold on. Let's do this. <coughs> I mm, problem is I don't have a lot of dumping space. Oh yeah, I do. Never mind. <coughs> so we'll we'll go ahead and get the whole colony to help out here. <coughs> Animatory linking. Everybody will just kind of bum rush it and bring those stones back. I'll turn this back on. I, honestly, I hate having people standing around idle, so. The more stone, the merrier. <coughs> Oops, what is this? Also, I do want to go ahead and advance somebody into side linking. Let's find someone. Oh, no, whiskers. Um, you, zombie. Can you advance anymore? Probably. Yep. <coughs> Get over there. Get over there. Word of love. We have so many people with word of love, word of trust, all that crap. We need some combat pawns. <clears throat> I want Berserk. I want Skip. I want all that good combat stuff. I'm going to get rid of these, too. People just drop these rocks. I guess it's because I ordered them to go on this ritual. I, oh, no. Look. Where's she at? I knew it would happen. Oh. She tainted all this stuff. <clears throat> so we're going to eat her. Actually, you know what? No. Hold on. I'm going to suspend these. We're going to use her for genetic material, boys and girls. Oh, it sounds grim, but don't worry. We're going to bring her back to life, too. So. <clears throat> now, this is a fun little process I haven't, I haven't experienced yet, so I don't know how this works exactly reinstalling this i expect it's just like a surgical procedure so we're gonna try that but mm, let me get this set up first extract from humanoid 
So, first things first. Where is... I don't know. Give me Haikucha. Extract stack. So, I'm going to have her stripped first. I'm going to have Haikuja do this because, quite frankly, Haikuja, you're probably the next one to die. <laughs> uh, Alright, now, um, should you extract her stack? Okay. Now, I want you to install that. Oh, look, it took her head off. Girls. Oh, don't look there, folks. Don't look there. Alright, um, let's put her in one of these bodies. See, this is the part I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. <coughs> I assume that's going to be hers. Uh, Manu. Wait, is Haikuja a doctor? I've forgotten. Yeah, so very, very good doctor. Okay, Haikuja. Can you do this? Operate, yes. All right, is she picking up the right one? Well, she's probably going to grab some medicine. So I'm just going to keep my eyes right here. <clears throat> and hopefully Haikuja comes and grabs this shortly. Oh, the body's gone. There's Haikuja. I'm going to pick it up. <clears throat> Come on, you're about to save your buddy's life here, Haikuja. So cool, too, because now we just grow another female body, and if Manu dies again, we just take the stack out and reinstall it. As long as there's no failure, we should be good. I'm definitely going to make another body now. Replace this one. Good job, Haikuja. You just brought your best friend back to life. Nice! Oh, wait, that's the silent. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I think that... Manu, sweet. Okay, let me look. Yes, it kept all her bio and stuff up right on. So, how's her health? Sweet quality, standard. She's sedated, <clears throat> so she is going to need all that stuff replaced, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Has to happen. It's just going to be that way. But she's got all her skills still and a brand new body. So she's still a great doctor. <clears throat> and like her cybernetics aren't that important necessarily because she's not a uh, combat person. She starts over at 20 years old. That's so cool. I wish I was younger than that. It should be like 14 or something. The absolute minimum age. Uh, anyway. Okay, so. Was she just asleep now? Man who can't walk. Okay, we'll just wait for her to walk. Um, <clears throat> I think when I turn this off, did I pause the growth? I don't know. We're going to turn it back on now, though. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to cancel it. Oh, crap. Why is this still off here? Oh, what? Oh, it's just telling me it's out of it? I don't know. I think I just reset them. Crap. Oh, well. Whatever. We'll reset them. Yep. See? It just went away. Oh, well, I canceled that one by accident. Alright, let's... Manu, you okay? She's resting. <clears throat> let's create a new one. Female. I don't like that female look. That's better, but the hair is terrible. <laughs> Alright, that's better. Now, we want to go with beautiful quality. We want the quality to be good. Okay, there we go. We don't have anything to install. Okay, except that. Boom. My people will eventually fill it up. We might have the n not have the Neutronamine at the moment, but we'll get some. That's always a big bottleneck in our colony. Neutronamine. For several different projects we've got planned. Uh oh, why'd we slow down? What's happening? The fire got one of our guys. The cat horse got hit by the lightning or something. I don't know. Okay. Everything's going pretty smooth. Pilgrims are finished. Oh, this is a event for the relic. Awesome. Okay, yeah, get out of here. We don't want you to join us. We don't need new people right now. 
Okay, flashlight's done. Let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, we're holding off. Ooh, where's our group? They're still not back yet. Taking them a while. Traveling through the mountains. We're holding off on building more bionics right now. I might go ahead and distribute what we got. So, there's four flashlights. A laser. To where's the ear? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Whoops, calm down. I almost freaked out. What is this guy carrying? Probably stuff he shouldn't be, so I'm going to have to drop it. <coughs> okay. Let's find out who gets the ear, because I don't remember. I'm going to speed through this real quick, folks. There it is. Okay, so we've got laser detection, advanced, the left ear. Okay, we need a advanced bionic implant on the right. Yep, perfect, perfect. And he's also going to get a spine. So, <coughs> leaves us with five spines, four flashlights, and that's it. Five spines, four flashlights. All right. Who is this? Onesie? Yeah, Onesie needs some improvement, so... I rely on this character a lot for stuff. Where's all the... There it is. Oh, uh, okay. Give him the spine. You'll take a flashlight. No, no, no. You didn't take a... Yeah, it's the flashlight. Getting... Forgetting what's what. <clears throat> this person's getting the laser detection system. So, we got four more spines to place and three more flashlights. Who's this? Just looking, seeing who's got what skill. This person's pretty important right here. Okay. Spine, <coughs> flashlight. They're not very good at combat, but you know how it goes. Maybe the flashlight will help. Uh, okay, okay, who's this? Camisa. No. being pretty picky right now because we don't have a lot of ability to make more stuff all right we'll give this person one so, uh, yeah we're kind of low on plastic so I, I'm, I think I'm still one short but I'm gonna hold off now we'll just let that get caught up I think I might have one spine left over after this Ooh, we are getting full over here again, I can see. Um, we got plenty of hats. Oh, that's right, we needed to build some more smoke pop belts for our uh, guests to purchase. So, what I want to do is just make a few of them. And it can't be Gizmo, because he'll make, she'll make legendary crap. So it's going to be Paige. <clears throat> okay. You know, I'm going to also, real quick, I know it's super boring to see this, but I'm going to take a quick census of the amount of characters that, that don't have bionic legs. It's pretty important, so I'm going to start at the back here. With them. Where's Manu, by the way? She needs to be, yeah, she shouldn't be in the middle here. She needs to be at the end. Oh, she's number one. <clears throat> Two. Three. <clears throat> wow. We've only got three colonists that need legs still. That's pretty good. I was expecting like five or six. Okay, so let's do that. Let's make some more legs. Now, I know I keep harping on the low amount of plasteel, but we've... Oh, no, we don't. I was going to say we've got enough. No, we don't. All right, we're just going to hold off. I'm going to set it up, though. Three, six. Yeah, we'll get this ready. 
So it won't be long till we come across some plasteel again, trust me. We got about 500 on the way. Of course, that's nowhere near enough, but uh, we'll probably discover some more. Either via the radar or the penetrating scanner. Hopefully it's this thing. There's so many of these things going. I feel like one day this whole area is just going to be covered with green. There's still, you know, there's plasteel out here too in some of these little spots that are kind of far away and stuff. Like here's one, but... Oh, there's two right by each other. Shoot. <clears throat> Could I get to this? I'd need to mine it out and build power plants like all the way down here. And this is water too, so I can't build the power right here. Yeah, it's too much, too much. I mean, we could do it, but... Oh, gosh. I'm still thinking about it. Maybe I can't... Can I put power there or not? One thing I've been doing, and it's actually helped, is using this subsurface. Ah, see, I can't place it there. Uh, is the raiders don't actually seem to attack this. There's a connection right here. Oh, crap. Yep, we've got to go for it, because I'll tell you what, our, our miners are so fast, it won't take them long once we get this all built and established. They'll be on top of this like nothing. So, perfect. Let me go ahead and, you know what, i gotta, I got to see what I'm doing here, so hold on. There we go. Definitely need to get rid of that area. And I kind of want to get rid of this here, too. Get a little easier to get in and out of there. <clears throat> I'm just nervous about uh, raids because we're very close to the edge. So we could get a raid to, like, come in right here. I think it's even possible that they could spawn down below here, too. I think that's possible. <clears throat> but we'll see. We're going to try it. Oh, boy. Um, so this is a job for our melee people. I like to always get them a little bit extra practice. I'm going over, boys and girls. I'm going to go ahead and recall all the robots, too. It's just so much easier when you get a problem like this. Instead of trying to shut them down individually or something, just recall all of them. Just get them all out of there. Unless you want to be replacing robots. Yep, this is the group right here. These guys are badass. We're going to send them, too. In case you haven't tuned in or you missed it, my stated declaration is to send this group here out to uh, attack a primitive settlement. No backup, no ranged helping them. Just these guys all hopped up on go juice with their weapons. Quit shooting. Let's get down here. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. I don't know. Like I've said, I, I, I'm not sure if we'll survive, if it's going to be like totally mismatched and we're just going to get our group wiped out. But we're going to give it a try. That is a goal I'm working towards. Probably happen in the next couple episodes, too. Once we get everybody's needs to be back, I want to wait till my group is back. Um, oh, look at Manu. What the hell's wrong with you, Manu? You need some more gear, don't you? Hold on. She probably reset, too, so I didn't check that. Let me get her schedule and uh, her work tab all set up. There's Jillian. Looks like we got a few other people that need to be adjusted. <coughs> right there. Not man, it was still set. Huh. Well, that's nice. Let's work at the work tab. She's at the bottom, and she is still properly set. Very good, Manu. So, <clears throat> she's putting on some clothes. I think she must have just woken up. Yeah, she's still woozy. Uh, we are going to get her fully kitted out eventually. <clears throat> ba -ba -ba. Looking good. I love the fact that we were able to take advantage of that sleeve, though. These, these 
we've got a couple of clones here. We clone these guys, as you can obviously tell. And we've got another male. So, what is the deal with this one? I don't know what this is showing me here. We're going to build another female in this one, though. So, let's do it. <coughs> oh, she looks badass. All right, there we go. Boom. I, I guess maybe they're missing. It's missing what it needs. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it'll work. That's the kind of thing you can just set it and forget it. <clears throat> it's going to take a long time to grow those anyway. Underground steel. Not interested. How's our... Yep. All right. We got a great construction team. Speaking of which, let's turn these guys back on. Yeah, so this all, this all gets built. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was worried that would happen. <clears throat> so this, will, this underground uh, power cords, uh, power conduits, they do take quite a bit longer to install, as you can see. It's not like a ridiculous time, but it, it takes a while compared to a regular power conduit. But they have some really seriously good benefits. Like, they're harder to destroy. They seem to be ignored by the by the raiders and stuff, so which is really nice. It's a bit of a waste because I will want eventually deconstruct these, but you know, hey, if we can slurp up like a thousand or so plasteel out of the ground right here, I'm gonna be a real happy guy. I still haven't unloaded what we've gotten, but oh, well, they're still not back yet. Duh. Mm. Yep, we need uh, we need to send a caravan out. Just a little one, trader. We send whiskers, and I forgot in the lineup I had. I had a little special group just for trade caravans. There's whiskers, and we needed a backup social person. Who is it? I wish you know what I think I do. Actually, have a mod where I can install like put our people put people in groups and like save the group as a designated you know whatever. I need to get that back. I don't know if it's installed anymore. <clears throat> so, I was going to check out... That's the wrong one. I was going to check out this. Numbers. Social. So, onesies at the top. Where's Sparky? Did I send him off? Yeah, he must be on that caravan. I think it was Onesie that I... Yeah, Onesie's a merchant. That's who I was going to send. Okay, so Onesie and Whiskers. And then the only other important thing is a medical person. we got to send somebody who can heal them up if they get attacked. Uh, of course, Cheetah is always a great uh, uh, great pick because of the weapon and his abilities. That's probably who I'll send. Cheetah, Onesie, and then... Uh, yeah, they're home. Yay. Get back here. Quit eating grass. Cheetah onesie and, and whiskers. They're going to do a little trade, and I haven't forgotten. We're still going to send out a uh, attack squad. These guys move so slow. They got exotic goods, so hopefully they got some plasteel with them. Hopefully. Hmm, we got two spines left. My count was off a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, also a flashlight left? Oh, my count was way off. Smoke pop bell, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Those should all go up here. Yes, gorgeous. Get all that stuff installed. Hey, did we get a genetic piece from that little person? Or from Manny's body, I mean. I swear I set that. I don't see what I don't see it though. Nope, they didn't extract genes from a humanoid. Why not? I swear I suspended my butchering, didn't I? So is it still here? Where's Manu? I bet you somebody came in here and just ate it like a midnight snack or something. You jerks. I don't think they would do that, honestly. What the heck? 
So if I do this, trumpet. Yeah, there's no material. Huh. What happened to it? I, I remember seeing somebody pick it up. I don't know what they might have done with it. Because this will allow me to butcher all, even like um, colonists and stuff here. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Oh, well. Once we get a raid and we've got like 40 to 100 different humanoid bodies, then it'll be a little bit easier to keep track of them. Maybe I'll get a few genetic samples then, huh? Yeah, I remember last episode I was a little torn over this flooring, but I like it now. I like the look of it. I actually especially like the star statue. wish I could do all four of them. It's cool. We got a pilgrim statue, which is uh, appropriate. You know what? Let's have... Let's do a ritual. Everybody's here. It should be in this room, too, because this is an impressive press of space with the relic and stuff. Oh, boy. <clears throat> we might get a, a recruit. Where's this person? Oh, they're back. Or they're ready, I mean. Alright, Sparky, once you're done. Oh, I can't even get Sparky's attention. So focus on this. Takes so long. Look how slow that is. Look at all these little colonists. Hey, everybody. That's, uh, that's a nice little room. Gorgeous environment. 15 while they're in here. Heck, yeah. That is nice. Oh, come on. Get in here, Rowan. Quit puking. What's wrong with you? you probably got food poisoning. still getting food poisoning for some reason so one of our chefs says i don't know what's going on in the kitchen really i don't pay attention to it i just keep it stocked with food and i let them do their thing still got late joiners but everybody made it unforgettable we didn't get a person that time but that's okay they all got a nice little mood bonus from that did you man who unforgettable eight hey, it's six days long heck yeah Hmm. Everybody runs over here to eat. This is cool, too. Table full of stew. Frozen stew, too. They didn't even thaw it out. They just gnaw on it. Like dogs. If you froze a bowl of stew and threw it to your dog. <laughs> it's just in there gnawing away. But uh, they've also got some frozen cinnamon rolls. Uh, ooh, I don't like how low this is. I guess 10,000 is not bad. What is it set to? See, it's even paused right now. Okay, so they need to get down to 7,000 before they'll restart and go up. That's, that's okay. That's acceptable. We're fine. See, I don't need to look at the kitchen. They just, they, they do their thing. And they're great at it. We do need to provide them with some more meat. So, let me pause it and look at the wildlife situation. We're still not able to produce enough meat on our own. Which is no surprise, considering the amount of colonists we have. Jesus, there's a lot of cappy bappies on the screen here. <clears throat> I'd like to find a nice herd of elephant, but I don't see any. No, well, pretty slim pickings right now. Mm. You should watch it too. I don't want to send too many people out hunting. See, that's the problem. You get through these late stages. Raids will pop in. There'll be so many of them on the map. They'll be so fast, juiced out, or genetically enhanced. And man, they'll just get your people. These guys are pretty close to the edge, but we're going to let it. We need a little meat, I think. Feeling uh, some of our cooks are idle because of that. Okay. Oh, oh did we trade? No, no, no. I didn't. Sparky, you were busy, so come talk to him. Glad I didn't miss that. <clears throat> Zodic Trader could have some nice stuff, especially from the Blue Moon Corporation. They're pretty advanced. After that, you know what, Sparky? I want you to come quest a caravan, buddy. Come on, what's going on? Oh, I don't have them selected. Yep. Okay. Wait, the bison... 
I think the bison, if we if we butcher these, will give us and genetically extract them, will give us muffalo genetic. So I'm gonna take that. Uh, God, they have no neutronamine. What the hell, jerks? They do have plastic steel, a little bit. Ooh, I'll take that shield cord too. Better believe it. Um, yeah, we'll take those. I'm just gonna take anything like vaguely worth money here, like or vaguely useful. Construction's very useful. Oh wow! Look at all these things we have. I've just been buying them like crazy, not even really giving them out. What else I got? Uh, builder, no thanks. Telescope. We're actually good on these entertainments now. So I'm not going to buy any. I will buy that. Okay, let's sell them a bunch of crap. Three livers, leg, brain. No, I'm keeping the brain. Ten spines. How about that, folks? Oh, wait. We're already over. Are you kidding me? Jeez. Oh, wait a sec. All right, that's a little better. Yeah, that's it. That's good. All right, we're done. Time to move on with our lives. They had some good stuff, just not in the quantities I would have liked. So, um, let's get another exotic goods over here. I like your style. Please come back for more. Okay, we got a masterwork here. Let's put this somewhere. Ooh, these two rooms still need statues. Guess what? You just got a masterwork. A large one. We'll put a mortar in the other one. <laughs> Alright. Um, is this... I thought that was one of those pilgrims still sticking around. No, it's just a traitor. My bad. I was confused. See, our kitchen robot has nothing to do right now. Hmm. Oh, a single rhino. Great. What's that going to do? Probably better than four alpacas. Not necessarily. All right. Look at this person with their little flashlight glowing on them. I love it. I love it. Is that what that is? Oh, your anesthetic's wearing off. Yep, he just got the flashlight there. Pretty cool. You shouldn't be out here working, though, if you're sick like that, my friend. I'm not going to focus on the steel. We don't need it, so... Not gonna do anything with the. Uh, I think we're, this is the last technology we even have. This is it. And the, all the trees, nothing else. Jeez, Elise. Arc unlocks Arcanex's charging pillar. I don't know what any of this does, but we're researching it, and we will look into it. So we're gonna utilize all the techs. All the techs. They will be mine. But uh, for now, we got to get some more plasteel. So that's the goal here. Um, I'm almost tempted to go ahead and move some of these things now. Where did I put the two little ones? There they are. Okay, you guys. You guys are going to be adventurers now. You get to adventure out. See what happens. In the wide, wide world. I'm going to get three of them up here. I think we have six total, so... We're, we're going all out on this, boys and girls. No slacking. Oh, can't put it there. Okay. Yeah, we're doing three and three. That's how we do it. This is plastic. You don't mess around. <clears throat> okay. B beautiful. That's right. I don't quite think we got enough room here. Oh crap, when I have to. Oh, we don't have enough length here on our power conduit. Oh shit, somebody got sick. <clears throat> Is it L? We're gonna have to take a couple of these out so I can get this power conduit around this corner. Oh my gosh, look at that. 22 people got sick. Well, fibrous mechanites, I mean. You know what I'm gonna do right now? So I'm gonna forbid. Oh crap, we don't have any glitter world. 
I was just going to say, I'm going to forbid Glitter World because all those people are just going to burn right through it. Should save that stuff for surgeries. I thought we just bought some. We had like a small, small amount of it. Maybe it got used? I don't know. Somebody's probably carrying it around. One of these stupid animals is probably carrying it around. <clears throat> okay. Well, oh, oh, what do you got? Hold on. Nothing. <laughs> See, like, I, I don't know why he's carrying that. He picked it right back up. Okay, there it is. Look. All right, don't touch that. We're just going to start building up a stockpile of Glitter World. Next time we have... Uh, next time we have some surgeries to perform, we'll use it. Okay, what's this? 70 man in it. Nice. 15 cataphracts will be placed under your control. We're definitely going to accept this. Look at this. Murder doer. <laughs> what a name. Hold on, I want to look at this. Kill happy. This weapon, this person who loves it, the weapon to kill, someone will enjoy This is a good weapon. I think this is what we're going to go for. Seven gold. Throw that on top. It's like icing on the cake. Mm. The only thing is this. The Plasteel would be super nice, but these Psychic Synthesizers, uh, I don't care anything about that. And this is worthless to me because I can produce that and I have so much of that. It's going to be this one. Um... I really don't need the 15 cataphracts, so I think we, I might, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but 70 man-eating drakes. I just wonder, okay, they will arrive six hours after. Okay, let's hold off for a moment. See, because now i got all these jokers doing this crap out here. Okay, um, you know what I'm thinking. This is this is gonna take forever. It's gonna take too long to actually get this all done, so what I'm gonna do is pull everybody in. Oh my god, I got what, four people missing spots? Oh man, it was one of them. Pull everybody in. Oh, including the robots, please. Thank you. Get in here. <clears throat> We're going to accept this quest. And I'm going to lock the doors so nobody can go outside. <clears throat> I do not want anyone getting caught up in s with 60 man-eating freaking decay drakes. Okay, I think that's everybody. Let's say F. Let me just make sure. Yeah, it just delays our plasteel production a little bit, but no big deal. It's going to be a fun little quest, I think. Alright, we'll accept it now. Oh, I really want that weapon. <clears throat> Catapract. Where are you at, guys? If you're outside, you're not coming in here. Okay. Just roam. Just roam. Not even going to use them. Maybe when the Decay Drakes come. Oh, I have an idea, actually. What we're going to do is we're going to send them out to melee. <laughs> we're going to take them outside the walls. Hopefully a lot of them will die. And we can use their bodies. Uh. Oh, and it's missing sidearm. Who? What? What's your name? E-loop? With three O's? That is a bizarre... What is his last name? Nos Nuscus? <laughs> I love it. Disgraced officer of the Blue Nation. Wow. Elup Nos Nuscus. What a name. Female. She's hot. Cortical stack, death of Cinefire. Wow, wow, wow. Nos Nuscus. Three go uh, with go juice on her. Right on. She's prepared. She came ready for the party. What a name. <clears throat> okay, so 
We're doing okay. I'm gonna turn my robots back on. That should be safe. I'm noticing all this filth. Mm. Pissing me off. No title bedroom required. One of these people must be royalty. Oh, to Zemeckis. He's got a crown on and everything. Why are they sending royalty over here? <clears throat> yeah, don't come in here just yet, guys. We're not ready for you. What the? This is one of the people they sent me. This guy. This person. Well, he's got some abilities. Flash storm. Yeah, I never really thought this neural heat dump was good until I really started using some of these later abilities. It's actually not a bad thing. I wish I had more of them. Uh, speaking of which, we did actually get some side cast things, didn't we? The hell are they? I need to designate a small little stockpile just for these things so that I don't lose them. And I can always use them. Alright, let's see who needs something. We've got two, like, middling level abilities here. Let's give them out. Zombie, I think you were the one we were just working on. So, let's continue. <clears throat> you already have... Far skip. Okay, not yet. Okay, you can use that one. Probably not ready for that yet. You're only level three. Let's try you, Trout. Trout, Trout, Trout. All right, very good. Those two taken care of. Just like to get them out of my stockpile, you know. Get the get him used up so we're not sitting there on the wealth although it's not like I'm really watching my wealth anymore <laughs> uh, all right got a little bit of time till the uh, bad boys show up shouldn't be too long though I'm hoping it happens shortly let's just pull out not that far let everything kind of just do its own thing just kind of watch the colony just a relaxing little Rim World session. Oh, Trade Caravan's leaving. It's actually good timing. Um, glad they're leaving now as opposed to right in the middle of the fight. Which I've had happen. And it's ruined my playthroughs. Okay. Getting a little laggy. I'm going to go ahead and use... I haven't used this in a while. Good old Runtime GC. Great little mod. Normally I cut this out whenever I do this, but it doesn't take long, so I'm not going to mess around with it too much. Just hit a quick little thing. There you go. Sometimes you'll see a, a minor improvement to like speed and smoothness after that. <clears throat> Although a colony this size, it's sometimes it's pretty futile. All right, where is that thing? I actually don't even mind if they start pulling up rocks right now. Chunks and stuff. That'd be fine with me. We did end up with a few stone chunks up here. It's mostly marble, though. Which I guess that's good. That's what we're using for our statues and stuff. Speaking of which, is anybody... Yep, look. I don't have anything to work on. What a disgrace. We're just going to start producing grand sculptures for sale, for se uh, selling purposes, basically. You guys go. Keep them occupied. We should have the stone, too. Let me double check. Oh, yeah, we got 9,000. Lanny. <clears throat> oh, look, our little Omnibot. He's making a uh, plasteel for us. What a sweetheart. Like, we don't have enough, Chief. It says we need a thousand. We've got 71. <laughs> you keep going, buddy. Seven at a time. You'll get there eventually. You'll make it. What a sweet little robot. <clears throat> Whiskers, on the other hand, he's kind of a sourpuss. No, I'm kidding. Whiskers is great. All right. Um, so, did I ever give Nightmare? I put two people. I don't think I ever gave him any Ibana. Or an eye. Oh, crap. He needs an eye. So he's going to get that, and we'll give him a flashlight. Let's 
going to be it for now. So I don't have anything else, but we, we are going to soup him up, so no worries. He might end up being our only combat person left. I don't know. We'll see. Got a bug flying around in here. All right, how's everything going in here? This is still, I don't know, screwed up. Do we have a baby? There is a little baby in there, though. See him? It's back there. Because we got one here, so I think we're fine. <clears throat> we're fine. Everything's yeah, working perfectly. These things... I still haven't figured that out. But the replicator, yeah, you know, whatever. It's there. Technically, we have it. Oh, my God. These animals need to show up already episode's almost over and the animals aren't here yet they're late to the party guys it's at six hours i was like oh that'll fly by well it didn't oh i forgot all about this well 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 yep we got the dirt for it yeah is there a way to i need to stop making fertilizer too because i don't think we're going to use it anymore i'll just stop that yeah, that'll end it. <clears throat> Probably end up deconstructing all these two. Yeah, that's a good move. Gives us just a little more... Hey, there they are. Gives us a little bit more room to work with over here. Let me get this laid, because I will forget again if I don't. Okay. And we need some power. Beautiful. Okay, that's good to go. Wait for our constructors to get on that. And everybody's in the walls. Everything's good. Where's our cataphracts? I wanted to get them. It's these right here, right? Didn't we have 12? Didn't it tell me we were going to get more than 12? I thought it said like 15. I don't know. Oh, well. Oh, well. Just let them get up here before I open the door, because I know everybody's going to try and run outside and go about their duties and stuff. Once I unlock that. Where the hell are these things? Oh, they really blend in, don't they? Yeah, these guys are all going outside, including you, Mr. I'm a royal prince, and I deserve better than everybody else. No, no. It's time to get all go juiced up, though, I think. Toggle power. There it is. <laughs> Alright, is that all of them? No, it's only seven of them. I might I, uh, play it safe. Recall the robots. Not worried about this attack. It's just... It's always better. It's always better. Oof, they're getting close. Right, I don't know where the rest of this group is, but they're fucking slow. Nine. Okay, that's good enough. Look at, look at all of them. I'm dying to get outside. Oh no, they're coming down to flick switches. Okay, okay. They're trying to go outside. Oh, these guys do need to go outside. Okay, much better. Is that the whole group? Yes, it is. Alright, yeah. So, hopefully these guys get torn up. Oh my god. Yeah, they're going to get torn up. And I was going to have some guys come out here and help them, but it's kind of pointless. Let's just see what kind of melee ensues here from this. Alright guys, time to sit back, relax and enjoy. Watch the slaughter. Oh, they're barely making it there. These guys. Standing tall, standing strong. Retreating. Got a single one of them. 
Keep going, keep going. Oh my gosh, guys. And I'm sorry, but we got to pause it. That's the end of the episode, everybody. Oh, I'm so sorry, but we got to do it. You're just going to have to come back next time to find out what, what the fate of our little group of uh, brave adventurers is out here. What are these, the Empire? Yeah, they're Empire soldiers. Come back next time to find out the fate of the Empire soldiers. Will they survive the onslaught of Decay Drakes? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time.